and they could find them. The only thing they could find is U.S. citizens, because that's what they have jurisdiction and control over. Okay, now I explained to people a million times what happened in 1988. It was the Soviet Union. One day, the Soviet Union was the second biggest power in the world. One day, on Monday morning, everybody woke up and it was gone. Now, they were citizens of what country then on that Monday morning? <coughs> were they citizens of the Soviet Union? No. They were, they were people, without a, with people without a country, people without a government. Did that mean that they no longer functioned? Did, uh, did their society collapse? Did they go into chaos and mayhem? What happened to those folks in 1988? Nothing. They were they gone. Were yeah. Monday morning, they realized they were no longer Soviet citizens. Now what were they? They were citizens of what? And like I said, a citizen just means you're a member of a family. That's all it means. Citizen is civis. It's Latin. Member of a family. That's all it means. So do you wish to be a member of that family? If, <laughs> so, you know, like the, the saying goes, you can only serve one master. <clears throat> so I, I, I can only serve one family at a time. So all I could serve is the lenses. It's just like, say, the, the Mafia is a good example, like the Gambinos or the, uh, in, or, um, the Gambino family or the crime family, stuff like that. You have to be only... The, the Genovese's. The, the Genovese's, right. Whoever, that you only abide by those folks' rules, standards, and conducts. Once you're a member of, like, say, the Genovese crime family or Gambinos, you don't care about being a United States citizen anymore. You don't care about the United States rules anymore. You don't care about their laws and their codes. The only thing you care about is the, the code of your family and the rules and laws and bylaws of your family. It's the same thing, like I said, with that Obamacare. What does it have to do with, with anybody other than somebody from who is can, claims that they're part of the United States family and that they're subordinate and Daddy Obama is their daddy? <clears throat> what does it have to do with anybody who does not believe that Barack Obama is their daddy? And thank God, like I said, he said that on October... 23rd at 8.18 a.m., he said the greatest gift our forefathers gave us was the right to self-govern. So even he said that when the government reopened up for business at 8 o'clock in the morning. At 8.18, that's exactly what he said. And you even uh, Googled it, and you sent me a link to it. <clears throat> so we're self-governing. If we choose not to be governed by Obamacare, well, we choose not to. We just say, wait a second, didn't Barack Obama say on October 27th at 8.18, that the greatest gift our forefathers the United States ever gave us was the right to self-govern. So, does that mean I get to control where I go because a governor is like on a carburetor or on a, on a, on a boat or something like that? It, it limits where you can and cannot go and how fast you can and cannot go and you choose to set what you govern, where you steer towards? That's it. It's your choice. That's what it is. Right. So it's a free choice. There's, there's nothing that can compel you unless you believe that you're That's subject right. to that authority. Then if you believe that you're part of the Genovese card family, then you better do what they tell you without break your legs. No one can be compelled to contract without the ability to kill right. if, you, you, if you believe that you're United States citizen are subject to their authority and they can break your legs, God bless you. If that's what you believe, that's what you believe. But all I ever think that, that has to But the United States of America, if they tried to move me, say they tried, say the United States of America tried to move me into court. Say the United States of America tried to find me, assume me, okay? And I said, oh, really? You're going to try to sue me and find me? That That's special. I have no idea. I always wanted to meet Mr. or Mrs. USA and I always wanted if uh, it wore a skirt or if it wore jeans and a, and a belt buckle, you know, because, uh, you know, is it Columbia, the woman that used to represent, or is it Uncle Sam? Is it a man now? Who, who, who is the United States? What is the United States? That'd be great. I think everybody in a free world would love to see the United States appear in court. So I'll be more than glad to some of the United States who's the plaintiff, who's complaining that I'm not doing something it's ordered me to do, I'd be more than glad to demand that it, or not demand, require of it to appear in court and testify that I owe it a debt. Because <laughs> your lawyers can't testify that I owe them a debt, can they? The paperwork can't testify. Like I did with the man in Evansville, Indiana. The, the, the feds down there in Evansville said, and all this man is listening, but he'll tell you. He said, call the question these, these, and all they kept saying is, what we have is a paper case. Nobody will ever appear in court and testify against that man, Greg. The man's name is Greg uh, Stardell, Stard, started or something like that. And, they, and he said, uh, and, and the Fed said, no, the only one who will ever appear in, in, in an IRS tax court will be you, Greg. Nobody else will. Nobody from the government will. Nobody will. We're just waiting for you to confess. That's what I try to tell people all the time. Nobody's going to appear in the United States tax court except you. 
It's all confession. And you're the plaintiff. When, you, when you're moving the tax court like that, if you, if you challenge an IRS tax assessment, they give you a petition. They, they petition us in an IRS uh, federal tax court. So who's ever the petitioner is also the plaintiff. So the defendant doesn't have to say a word. So you're the only one appearing. So thank God, before I met him, for a year and a half, he never entered into a plea. He never said he was guilty, not guilty, no contest. Thank God. He never opened up his mouth and never answered to anything. It made my job a lot simpler. Because at that time, he was still acting as a defendant. Because <clears throat> he never said anything to anybody. So on all his paperwork, he's United States of America versus him. And that's great. And I said, great. And I said, I'm going to love seeing the United States of America appear. I'll definitely come back to Indiana. And I want to witness this. Because he's going to cross examine. He has the right to cross examine his accuser. He's got the right to cross examine the United States of America. It did not say the IRS versus Greg. It did not say the United States Department of Treasury versus Greg. It said the United States of America versus Greg. So the plaintiff must appear. It's an ancient rule. It's been going on for tens of thousands. It's been going on since caveman time. If somebody said that somebody did something wrong, that caveman better appear. And he better point the finger and said that man did me wrong. His friend can't say he did him wrong. He's got to say he did him wrong. That's why dead men tell no tales. That's why they say sometimes it's better just to kill uh, the, the, the guy that you did wrong because he's the only one who's ever going to be able to appear on court and point a finger at you across the room and say he did him wrong. Without, without, without somebody you know, verifying that there was a wrong done and pointing across the courtroom, there is no claim. There is no case. The state can't move a case for a dead man. That's ridiculous. The state wasn't there. The state doesn't know how that guy died. <clears throat> Only the man who died knows how he died. And the man who said, I'm innocent. The guy, he fell on my gun and it went through his head. He discharged a bullet to the back of his spine. I don't know. I don't know how my, uh, just shit happens, I guess. Sucks to be him. He doesn't have to say anything else. <clears throat>